So today I'm going to show you how to use cloud compute options in Draw Things for the Mac. And this is going to enable you to use someone else's, i.e. the Draw Things team's GPU power instead of your own to make jobs a lot faster. And this is a game changer if, like me, you've got an older Mac and you um, can't run models like Flux, more modern sort of AI gen models like Flux or Hydream, because they just take an absolute forever to run so i'm going to show you first how to access it and then i'm going to explain a little bit more about what the compute units are and how they apply to your generations so if you go into draw things on the left hand side you've got your standard icons down here go all the way to the bottom and there's like a little profile picture icon at the very bottom if you click on that it will bring up your current info, including the Draw Things version number. And on that note, I really recommend going and downloading the latest version from the App Store to make sure you've got all the latest features because Draw Things gets updated all the time and it's always good to be up to date. Then underneath it says, you'll see it says here, Draw Things Plus Edition. Now, I'll explain what this is in a moment, but that's the current sort of subscription that I'm on. Now, don't get put off when I say subscription because there's no necessary subscription. But to use the service, to use these cloud compute units as GPU, there is a completely free option. And without a catch, it's just slightly lower usage. And I'll show that in a minute because it's absolutely perfect for like 90% of people using this software. So underneath it's got Explorer Editions. Obviously it won't have this at the top on yours because you won't have set it up yet. So you go into Explorer Editions and the three options come up. Let's start with the one on the left, Free Edition. This is basically just when you download Draw Things and open it is what you get. So all the features of Draw Things, but it uses 100% of your local computer's power to process the images. So you don't have to register anything for that. Obviously, that's just you using it. Now, in the middle is the first of the cloud compute options, and it's called Community, and it's absolutely free. So the only thing you have to do when you go to um, sort of activate, join this, is you need to enter your Apple ID info, um, just because it kind of syncs with it and you know authorizes it and things like that. You will not get charged any money for this option. It's completely free. There's no commitments or anything. You can put it off as whenever you like. This is the option I would recommend to almost everyone. And if you want a little bit more um, power, as it were, a little bit more power at your disposal, you can pay um, eight ninety nine a month for a more for a Sort of more advanced version called Draw Things Plus. I do this just because I like to experiment a lot with um, larger resolution and tiled images and things like that. And sometimes they do um, go a little bit over the community image sort of unit um, limit, sorry, but not very often. And so I've got that, but you absolutely do not need that. So you sign up for the community option to start with. And once you've gone through and entered all your Apple ID and got that set up, Hopefully it'll be connected. You come up to the top and those three bottom the three icons at the bottom, this top one, server offload. Now, as default, it will be your local machine here. You'll see whatever you've called your Mac in the top. So mine's Gareth M1 Mac, blah blah blah. And underneath will be the cloud compute option that you've registered for. Now mine says draw things plus, which I will then click on. So I'm now using draw things um, GPU sort of server power instead of my own Macs. And if you've got the community free option um, set up and activated, it will it will appear there as well. So click on that. And providing it's got the little check mark next to it, you are now sort of live using external cloud GPUs. Now, let me go to the top of the settings here and I'll explain a little bit more about what these lab hours, as it says up there at the moment, and the compute units actually work. So at the moment, you can see it says lab hours at the top. And there's a little, um, let me close that for a moment. And there's like a little icon of a purple flask with a number next to it. So normally the icon will be green and it wouldn't be called lab hours. It would be called like compute units or something like that. Um, it's called lab hours. It changes and actually gives you a higher than normal compute usage per job when it's their quiet time. So when their servers are sort of having some downtime, they automatically kind of upgrade you for free to this lab hours section. 
You, you don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but when you see it, it's a bonus. It means you can use even more compute power than your subscription normally allows per job, um, which is great. So at the moment, you would get 15,000 compute units on the community free um, option and 40,000 per image or per generation on the plus, which is I'm on. But at the moment, because it's on the lab hours, it says here, when we have extra capacity, we raise the usual limits to give you more freedom to experiment. Community users can now up to 30,000 units per request instead of 15. And draw things plus users can use 100 instead of 40, 100,000, etc. All right, so this is great. And how this works is basically your image size and your steps both have an effect on how many compute units you've got. So mine at the moment says like 14,000, 14 and a half thousand, say. So this particular job, it's flux dev, and I'm at a large three by two sort of aspect ratio resolution. So 1536 by 1024, and a reasonable amount of steps at 35. And that's still coming under the limit of what you would be allowed on the free account just so just to show you for free what, what you can still get and then when it's in this lab mode with this purple flask icon you could have a light even more so there's absolutely tons there and it is per request so if i run this now let me click generate i'm just going to keep the same prompt that i had to generate this first image i'm just going to click generate and if I were to adjust things over my limit, it would tell me up here. It wouldn't let you run the job. It would it would come up red or something, and it would tell you that you haven't got enough compute units. Now, these aren't subtractive, so you don't have a, a bank of these that it takes away. It's just literally per generation you run, this is, this is how much compute units will be used um, against your limit. And so it's not taken away. You could run like 10 jobs in a row, separate jobs. And as long as they were under your compute unit maximum, that's fine. So there's no kind of pool of, of credits or anything that you're eating through. It's just it literally resets every job, which is fantastic. So as you can see, this is showing you through. Now, if I did this on my normal Mac, my local M1 MacBook Pro's um, own sort of GPU power, uh, it would take forever for this image. It would, it's just painfully slow. And uh, whereas this, you can see, that's just that's just getting through it super quick and um yeah the text got a bit messed up but whatever so you see how quick that is now if i run that um if i run that a few more times i could just i could just you know up the generation number and like i said it will just reset per generation on the um, computer unit so i've normally got 40,000 cuz i'm on the draw things plus like i've the slightly paid one but because it's the um lab hours i get up to a hundred thousand which is absolutely tons as you can see how fast this is going through now it's um it's pretty good it's pretty good it means that models like i'm just going to cancel this it means like models like flux and then high dream are actually more accessible so if i open high dream now i've got like a little preset for it um if i open high dream it uses does does use a little bit um, like a different amount of the compute units. Each model's going to use a different amount depending on, you know, settings and, and the actual specific model itself. So if we click large on High Dream and just kind of rep, uh, replicate the settings I just had for Flux, you can see it's using a lot more compute units for the same for the same thing. So High Dream's like a hungrier model. It's, it uses a lot more power. Um, so if you were on the free community option for the cloud compute, um, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't be able to generate, you know, what's classed as like a large um, image size document or image, sorry, a, like a, a reasonable number of steps. So you'd have to just knock it down to normal, which in this aspect ratio is still 1152 by 768. And you can see there it's not even using 10,000 um, compute units. So you'll be, you'll be absolutely fine there. Or if you really wanted the extra size, you can play with knocking down the number of steps and things like that. But luckily we don't have to do this at the moment because we're in the lab hours. And even on the free option, you get 30,000, um, you get 30,000 units to play with. So let's just type in something here. 
I might cut it up. I don't know. I'm just going to run it. So, 30 steps with a large image size for High Dream full. This is High Dream full. Would, I, I don't even think I'd attempt it normally on my local Mac. I think it'd be a case of go out, go out to the pub for an hour or so, come back and it might be done. Whereas, it just really makes it possible with this. Now, the only thing I'll say is, even with the Plus account, it's not enough to do video stuff. So you can run the video models through Draw Things, and but even the most basic video model, unless you really, really hack down the number of steps to something that basically is unusable, there isn't enough compute power through the cloud compute options to um, use video. So you will either be stuck with using it on your local machine, and then if you've got an older computer, you'll obviously really struggle with that, or just use like a third-party um, closed source option online. So I tend to use um, some closed source options for video when I need it, just because I don't have the compute power myself. Um, but for like images and things like that, I just use... I just use um, High Dream and Flux at the moment. I've experimented with Chroma. It's pretty good. It's not very consistent. I don't find, but I'll be doing some more videos on that soon. So all in all, that is the compute units and compute cloud. Uh, sorry, cloud compute option in a nutshell. Hope you found this useful. And um, yeah, look out for more videos very soon. Let's just wait for this image to finish and have a look. Lovely. Look at the detail on that nice image. See you soon.